If you love these Winter City Street Christmas cards as much as I do, let's try painting them with watercolor. I'm using a big postcard as a stencil to cut out from a bigger piece of watercolor paper and taping it down on a wooden board with masking tape. I'm using an erasable colored pencil for sketching, but you could also use a watercolor pencil that dissolves into the painting or a hard graphite pencil to make a light sketch. I'm mostly doing a freehand sketch of the buildings, but I'm using a ruler to get the walls of the buildings somewhat straight. I'm sketching the roofs, the windows and the crescent moon. I'm using a view in Stockholm Old Town as the reference. I think this is around the place where the Christmas market usually is. Adding a bit of extra space on top of the roofs and the chimneys for a snow cover. Let's start by painting the sky by wetting the paper around the houses and the half moon. And then adding a wash of blue watercolor to make a gradient sky. While waiting for the sky to dry, we can paint the parts of the buildings that don't touch the blue sky or each other so they don't blend. I'm outlining the building first and then filling it in but leaving the windows unpainted. I'm doing three red buildings, slightly different shades of red, so I'm using the warmer red for some and the bluer red for others. If you mess up, you can remove the paint by plotting with a paper towel while it's still wet. And then there's a green and a yellow building in between the red ones. The sky is now dry, so I'll paint the moon and the chimneys. They're black or grey in the photos, but I'll make them brick chimneys, so I'll use a small brush and a couple of different colors. First red and then mixing a bit of blue in the warm red to make it more brown. I'm erasing the sketch from the roofs since they'll be snowy and white, so I don't want the blue sketch to show through. I like the look of partly snow covered roofs where some of the snow has fallen off, so I'll paint some of the roofs partly grey. I want to leave the window frames white, so I'm only painting little strokes for the window panes. I'm scattering some dark windows in there and doing stripes for the tin roof with the same color still on the brush. Now, I thought the moon was too saturated, so I took a wet clean brush to lift off some of the yellow to make it more pale. I made the rest of the window panes yellow or orange to look like they have lights on inside. Added some blue or grey shading for the snow on the roofs and some shading under the windows and the roofs with browns and blues. I'll show you an alteration on this idea too, but first the thing that's going to tie this all together and make it a Christmas card for me is adding snowfall. So let's do that by splatter painting. I'm using white acrylic paint and a small brush, or two actually. I'm wetting the brush and loading it with watery white paint and then tapping it on the other brush over the painting. It makes different sizes of splatters and they'll be more randomly placed than if you just dot on some white paint. So it looks more realistic. It is a little messy though. So the other idea I wanted to do was to add a big Christmas tree in the middle. The circles are for Christmas lights, there's snow on the foreground and some houses further back. I'm painting the glow around the Christmas lights light yellow and the sky blue, but adding some darker tones near the ground while it's still wet so it blends well. And I decided to try making northern lights by dropping some green and yellow on the blue wash while it's wet and letting it blend in. Light blue shading for the snow banks and orange inside the light glow circles for the light bulbs or candles. I guess they're candles actually. Now painting the spruce tree green partly covers up the yellow circles, but it's fine, they still show through a little. And here they are. There's more of a city winter scene with apartments and a suburban one with houses. But if you want to paint flowers on some of your Christmas cards instead, watch this video next. See you then!